So now we have, now we have this invitation to take a, a shape that we formed from a movement um, and translate it into something that is, is actually smaller, because my movement feels big, that's smaller and that can be put on um, like a small piece of paper that can kind of be made two-dimensional. So I have to think about kind of bringing the scale down um, from my body um, to something that's gonna fit on a postcard. So what I was thinking about with river movement and what I was feeling was, was two things, kind of one the reverse of the other and one was water moving in a direction and then sort of hitting a rock or an obstacle or like, you know, uh, or my arms and splitting in, in two directions or revert, you know, conversely like water coming down two little streams and joining together and making like a bigger body. So like something that looks like a fork, I think, or a V is, is sort of what is sticking in my, in my sort of mind. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look for shapes that are, are like that, that sort of V or fork shape. And so this idea of intersections or forks, and I thought that um, these tree shapes really felt um, like they, they, particularly this one with these like little buds on it, they really felt like they communicated that. And I was also thinking maybe plastic, I could sort of arrange it in a way. And then I was thinking also maybe creating the shapes out of ripping paper. And I really love like that edge, like it's, it's a very organic shape. So could I kind of create the shape of two streams of water coming together and making, you know, a bigger river? So I have my cyanotype paper here and I have the things that I want to put on it. And I was actually looking for some little stones or something to weigh these things down so they don't blow away. But I, I actually am thinking that maybe some of this ice and snow might do the trick and might be kind of cool because it's water. Um, okay, so here is the paper. And this is paper, regular paper, uh, watercolor paper that's been coated with um, cyanotype chemicals to make it light sensitive. So the side that's light sensitive is green. That's the side that you want to expose to the sun. Oh, and there it is. And there's the white side. I'm going to put it face down for, for now while I close this. And this whole exposure on this kind of overcast day is probably going to take 10 or maybe even 15 minutes. So it's not like you really have to worry that it's gonna like expose immediately when you take it out, but I, I do keep it upside down until I'm ready to kind of make my composition. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> and sometimes less is more, and I'm thinking like, hmm. But I'm just going to do this as it is. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for um, 10 or 15 minutes until, you know, the paper was a much brighter green when I brought it out and now you can see that it's being exposed or I can see it's being exposed you may not be able to um, it's it's changed slightly in tone but um, hopefully it's gonna get a lot grayer and maybe even a little bit blue but um, I am gonna come out again in 10 minutes and check on it
So I can see that this, the tone of this has really changed. It's been 10 minutes. I think I'm going to risk it. Okay. So when I take the material off, you'll see that there is kind of an imprint on the paper. I'm going to turn this. So I'm going to put it in just, this is just a pail of water. I don't know if you can see, but the tone, you're going to put it in there about 60 seconds and the, just the tone changes a little bit. Um, this area becomes much more white. Um, and you want to keep it in there kind of for a little bit until the yellow kind of comes out of the white area. And actually, this could have used about five minutes more time, I can see. Um, I'm gonna do another one and expose it for 15 minutes instead of 10, and I'll show you the difference of it. Um, it's cool, my, my, the plastic, you hardly see at all, but, um, this kind of gives me good information about what I like, like what worked and what didn't work for my next one. Okay, I'm gonna go get more paper. So here I've got my paper, my sanitite paper. I'm gonna put this on, and then I think I'm just gonna put ice on this one. Both to hold it down and also just because I'm just curious about what it will look like. And this I'm going to leave about 15, maybe even 20 minutes. Okay, so this is what the first one looked like. This was with like 12 minutes of exposure. Let's see what happens with 20 minutes of exposure. That's what it looks like before we put it in the water. 